Okay, now, how do you decrease the pixels of a photo on your iPhone or iPad? Now, it is quite literally the same thing, but essentially what you want to do is to compress the image, but we can compress it in like different ways and we want to make sure we only lower down the pixels, right? So for this, I would recommend you to get an app from the App Store. Many of the apps are available there, so you don't need to necessarily stick to the one which I'm showing you, but I believe it's the best one out there, right? So get this app. You can see I've downloaded this before on my iPhone. So I'm just going to get this app. And once it downloads it, I just open it up. And essentially, I need to import the images. I can, of course, I need to allow access to my photos. If not to all, then at least to some of them. But I'm just going to click all allow them all like and don't need to do that. Now I'm going to click on select photos. Then I'm just going to click on any of the images which I want, right? So let's say I'm going to click on this image right here, tap on the next, and I can see the size of the image. And now I just get to play around with the compression settings. And by default, you get to, you know, you get selected that you want to lower the quality from the best to good. But let's say that we want to only change the pixels. And I'm not going to mess around with the photo quality. I'm only going to lower down the pixels, which 100% is this amount of pixels, right? And if I want to lower it, I'm just going to drag it down by 5% increments and decide which pixel size is worth it or my desirable change. Once I do this, I can just hit compress and the new photo will be with the lower amount of pixels. So that's how I like to do it, which is pretty simple. I'm just going to compress, you know, I'm going to get an ad because it's a paid, I mean, it's a free app with a paid version. You wouldn't get to see the ads, but it's not a big deal, right? And after this, you can see the size before and after, you know, the photo has been successfully compressed and it's now going to be with the pixel size that we want it, right? However, in case you want to be a lot more professional with it, then you need to get some sort of photo editor like, you know, the Canva or Photoshop where you can start a new project and then choose the dimensions of that new project. And essentially, you're going to just import it as, you know, the image is going to be imported there into the preset with the set pixels. So, yeah, you know, in case you want to do that, you're going to create a new design and choose the custom size and choose pixels, you know, set the exact dimensions that you want. Let's say it's going to be a thousand by a thousand right here. Let's say you want to you want your image to be exactly that. So you're going to create a new design. And now when you import the, uh, the files in here, when you just bring in any kind of photo, uh, right from your gallery or something, you're going to place it into this frame. And then when you export it, naturally, it's going to be thousand by thousand pixels. So that's how you can also do that. But it's a little bit more complicated. So it depends. But yeah, that's my sense, my two cents on it, right? So hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below in the comments if you have like any other questions or something. But for now, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.